Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own pumpkin head in Roblox. Now this will make a great hat for anybody who makes UGC or just decoration for your map. So whatever you prefer. The first thing we're going to do is going to start in studio and we're going to um, open up the rig builder plugin and we're going to insert in a block rig. And now that's all we need to do for right now. We're not going to mess with studio anymore, but we just need this um, later on in the video for scaling purposes. So once you got that bad boy done, we're going to hop into Blender and we're going to do what we always do. We got to clear the scene. So we right click the lamp, the cube and the camera, hit X and we're going to delete it. Now that that first step's done, we're going to get started. We're going to make the pumpkin. Go to create over here on the side and insert a UV sphere. Now, this is where the, one of the most important parts happens. You have to specify the segments and the rings you want. So look up a pumpkin, find your reference, and just kind of make it accordingly. For me, I'm going to make um, 24 segments and about 10 rings. Um, that's about the, the shape I want my pumpkin to be in. And so that's what I'm going to go with. If you guys are following along, you should probably copy those steps. Just 24 segments and then 10 rings. Now we're going to go down to the bottom right here. You see proportional editing. We're just going to enable it. And now we're going to scale this pumpkin and make it look more like a pumpkin. So insert, uh, enter edit mode and hit S to scale. And you guys can see we can scale it like that, but we need to specify the axis. So we're going to scale on the Z axis and we're just going to shrink it, the whole thing in the size like that. But now the top is kind of shrunk, but the sides are still circular. So we're going to um, scale it on the X axis as well. And just kind of shrink it in a little bit so now we got a nice oval shape for our pumpkin uh, looking pretty good now to move our camera around freely like you're seeing right now we're using shift F and then the scroll wheel to move um, that changes the speed and then move your mouse to move the camera obviously um, if you guys haven't already make sure to check out my other tutorial that'll be a good start for anybody just looking to learn the controls of blender uh, my UGC um, video but anyways let's get started on this pumpkin so what we're gonna do you see these lines right here that separate each part of the pumpkin we're gonna select every other one just hit alt right click and hold shift and then go around and select every other line and now we're gonna hit S and drag it in a little bit just like that so now we have the shape of a pumpkin as you guys can see here now here's one of the most important parts go over here where it says shading and UVs and mark the edges as sharp and now you guys see this, it looks like a pumpkin kind of, but it still looks like a pinata in a way. It's real blocky and that's really not what a pumpkin looks like. So here's how we fix that. We go over here to our modifiers and we're gonna add a modifier called edge split. And now we're gonna go to shading UVs and set the faces to smooth. So now if you check out the object, it looks smooth like a pumpkin and it still has its nice sharp edges. So just follow those steps and you'll have this basic shape so far. Next, we're gonna make a little indention here and then we're gonna work on our stem. So go down here and select the vertice, and we're going to select the center vertice. And we're just going to move it down a little bit like a pumpkin would, you guys can see here. And now we're going to create our stem. Let's move this pumpkin up a little bit, and we're going to create a cylinder. We're going to lower this down to about 7, because the, um, the amount of vertices that it has does not really matter. So we're just going to shrink it down, just like so. And we're going to make sure it's right in the center of the pumpkin, just like this. You guys can see here, just put it right in the middle. Then we're going to make it a bit smaller, move it down. We're going to go into edit mode and we're going to select this top face and just scale it up just like that. Now we have a nice little stub for the top of the pumpkin. Once you've got that done and you're really happy with it, just select both of those, hold shift and right click both of those and control J and that'll join them together. And here comes the fun part, the carving of the pumpkin. So right here, you're going to open up a new page on Google and you're going to type in pumpkin face, pumpkin carving if you want to. Um, and it will give you a bunch of faces you can use um, when you're carving. So we're just going to pick out something real simple here. We're going to right click and we're going to save the image as and we're going to name it pumpkin carving. Oops, it's not typed today. And hit save. Now we're going to go back into Blender, you're going to hit this little plus you see right here, and you're going to scroll down and where it says background images, you're going to check that and hit add image. You're going to open up that image that you just saved, there it is, open it up, and now we got to specify what axis we want to see it on, don't worry about the rest of this, just hit axis and go front, and now if you switch your view to um, ortho and then front, you can see your carving right here. 
Um, and then there's your pumpkin as well. Ignore the pumpkin for now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna design, we're gonna go to front again, sorry. We're gonna design this face. So the first thing I'm gonna do is focus on the eyes. We're gonna create a circle and we're gonna lower the vertices to something real small, like three. And we're gonna rotate it on the X, X axis, 90 degrees. And you guys can see we have the triangle look here. If you guys accidentally hop out of there, just press numpad one to fix that. All right, move this down and um, go into edit mode on this triangle. And do not worry about the pumpkin, the actual pumpkin right now, just worry about this face. And just kind of make your shape um, line up as best as you can. And we're gonna hit E to extrude. And just keep extruding this and following along the shape of your carving um, as best as you can. So now we're going to alt right click, we're going to duplicate and we're going to rotate it on the uh, D axis 90 degrees, oops, 180 degrees, sorry. And we're just going to drag it over and that'll duplicate it on the other eye. If you want to, you can line it up even better over here, but we're just going to leave it like that for the sake of the video. We're going to duplicate another vertice right here, just to shift, uh, shift D. Shift D. And we're just going to drag it down here and E to extrude, just like so. Alright, and when you get to this last little bit here, select both these vertices and hit F and that will fill the missing link right there. Alright, now we have our basic face design, but you guys can see that is not on the pumpkin or not where we need it to be. We're going to switch out of, um, we're going to switch our view back to perspective. And you guys can see the part of the pumpkin we want it on is not um, facing the right way. So we're going to rotate this first on the Z axis 90 degrees. So it's facing the right way. And we're going to get this bad boy right in front of the pumpkin, kind of right where we need it to be. And we're going to position it correctly. All right, so now that we have our carving and it's kind of lined up with the pumpkin a little bit, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back into view, perspective, ortho, and then we're going to go to um, front, and we're going to select the carving and then select the pumpkin, and then go into edit mode on the pumpkin. So now we go to right here where it says add, and then hit knife project, and that'll project our carving onto the pumpkin, which is exactly what we needed it to do. Uh, we can go back into object mode and we're going to delete the carving. We don't need it anymore. And you guys can see that our face is going to be carved onto the pumpkin right here, but it's very flat. It's not actually um, shrunk into the pumpkin yet. So we're going to go into edit mode and we're going to hit E to extrude and we're just going to drag it back into the pumpkin just like that. So you guys can see our face got carved into the pumpkin and we have the nice pumpkin mesh ready to go right here. Now, there's two ways to color this. You can separate each piece and you can color it in Roblox or you can color it in Blender using texture paint or mapping it onto the image. What we're gonna do, we're going to pop open another viewport frame like you guys see I just did. And we're also going to separate the face from the pumpkin mesh so we can color it in Blender. So all you need to do is select the face, hit P, and then selection, and that'll separate the selection from the pumpkin. You guys can see there. And now we got the pumpkin is a separate mesh from the face. We're gonna color the pumpkin real quick in Blender. Uh, switch your editor type to UV image editor and open up a color palette of your choice. And now we're gonna unwrap this pumpkin. So go into edit mode, hit A to select everything and U to UV unwrap and it'll project your pumpkin um, as you guys can see here. Now just open up that editor again and if you go to texture um, on your viewport shading, you can see that your pumpkin is very obviously being projected onto this image. But we need to shrink it down so it'll project onto just one color. And then we need to specify the color. So just S to shrink it down and G to grab. And we can grab it and drag it to the color we want. So now we got this pumpkin orange, but we need to color the stem. So we need to select everything on the stem. So Alt right click and that'll select a loop of those and then select the top with uh, holding shift. And I'll just drag it to a green color, just like that. All right, so one thing I forgot to tell you guys, if you guys wanna see your um, see the way it's shaded a little bit better, you can turn on ambient occlusion over here, 
and mess around with the strength and the distance and this will kind of help you see a little bit better like the shading and just the geometry of your shape better so that'll be good for you guys um, trying to figure out like oh does this look good or not uh, just mess around with the ambient occlusion you guys can see the difference it makes once you turn it on um, next up we're going to export the head mesh we're going to select just the head and we're going to go to file export wavefront.obj and we're going to name it pumpkin mesh uh, and then we're going to call it the head all right make sure down here you have selection only so you're only exporting the head not the face now we're going to export the other one export wavefront.obj and we're going to change head to face just like that so now we have them both separated we're going to hop into studio and we're going to right click and we're going to insert an object a mesh part and we're going to go to mesh id and we're going to open up our pumpkin mesh head right here open it says this mesh contains locational data would you like to move your mesh to a given location hit yes you guys can see the head right here and we need to insert in the face so copy and paste that and now we need to insert the face pumpkin mesh face open it up and hit yes all right so you guys can see the face actually has a texture on it we're gonna have to delete that given texture and now you see we have the blank mesh but no texture on it we're gonna switch the material to neon and you can color it whatever color you want I'm gonna go with green or yellow because it's glowing so that's basically all you needed to do for that you can right click and group them together if you like uh, scale it up if you want make it fit the head better but that's basically all you needed to do for that tutorial yep that's all so if you guys like this tutorial, if you found it helpful, um, I'd appreciate it a lot if you'd subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you haven't already. Make sure to join all the social links you see uh, down below. And as always, thank you guys for so much for watching. Goodbye.